I was in Austin for the South by Southwest Film Festival and I saw a band playing on the streets and I stopped to listen to them because they were playing music that was very similar to music I grew up listening to in Indiana. And um, the story just kind of came. And then when they were finished playing, I introduced myself to the banjo player and said, I need to know you because I'm going to make a story <laughs> that's kind of about this music and about what you guys do. Well, this train I ride on is a hundred coaches long. You can hear a whistle blow a hundred miles. If this train runs me right, I'll be home tomorrow night. I'll ramble this world till I die. Here were some folks who loved making music and they didn't want money or to be famous or to be signed. They just wanted to be better at making music. I felt like that was worth respect and I thought that that was definitely a story. And it occurred to me what would happen if you had somebody, a character like that, and then if you had a character who had a gift and somehow had gotten lost in, her, in the path of her life and had sort of forgotten the roots of who she was. And what happened? What would happen if those two people met? And what could they teach each other? And then, and that's sort of how the story came to be. The character of Jackie is a little tricky because you have to be able to believe that she's from there, mm -hmm. but that she had had a fancy Manhattan life and the life we're supposed to want, right? But also that at the moment that we meet her, her life is in is in shambles. You know, she's got no money, no credit cards, no insurance, and she's about to lose her daughter. So it's a tricky to have all those very different elements in one woman. And I, I had a feeling that Kat, and she pulled it off beautifully, but I think I had a feeling that Catherine would be able to embody all those things. And then for, for Ryan, I wanted Ben because he's very versatile and I knew that he would just be able to throw himself into, with respect into the research that was required to do this role. And also he has a real uh, heart of gold quality. You know, you, he's so warm and trustworthy. And you needed that quality in Ryan too. I will you my wagon, I will pawn you my team, I will pawn you my watch and my chain. If this train runs me right, I'll be home tomorrow night, or I'll ramble this world till I die. It was a really beautiful experience doing the music actually because it was very in-house. It was everybody who was very intimate with the movie got involved. Um, you know, my songs are in there just because they're very inexpensive. <laughs> and then, you know, Nick and I ended up writing something because we needed a song for the end of the movie and we had this idea and it just kind of happened. So it was all very kind of organic and I certainly didn't make them, when I was shooting the movie I had no idea that I would end up writing music for it. It just occurred, but I, I hopefully that, hopefully it shines in the film.